back to Kung Fu Maintenance, we'll had a really noisy uh, air handler and sounded like the blower wheel was rubbing up against the sides. Didn't come across so much in the video, but that's what it sounded like when I was there. So I knew it either needed to be adjusted or replaced. Here's a little footage on the repair. So here I could hear the uh, blower wheel rubbing or touching just a little bit. It's not uh, real extreme and then looking at it uh, closer, uh, moving around to see how much play was in the motor. Um, but I could see that it looked like it was a little too far to the right and that I had a little wiggle room if I was to move it further on the shaft to the left. You can hear it rubbing there. So the blower wheel assembly is held in place by two screws. Once you remove those two screws, they're usually self-tapping screws, uh, then you're able to pull the whole assembly out. The assembly has the blower motor, the capacitor usually mounted on the side. Uh, you just kind of got to get uh, the two screws out and also um, sometimes you can position the thermostat wire uh, out of the way. Uh, sometimes you'll have to disconnect it from the transformer. This one I wound up needing to disconnect it from the transformer. So it's a good idea when you do something like this to either write down your wire positions in some way that is going to make sense to you to remember to uh, be able to put it back correctly uh, or to take a photo uh, or both. Uh, both of those can be helpful just in case you run into anything. Uh, this one uh, the motor was just sitting further out, so was able to push it further back on the shaft. You know, loosened it and then tightened the bolt down once I got it in the position where I wanted it. Give it a test run. See how things balance out. This one had been rubbing a little bit on the right side. That looked good to me. No more rubbing. No more hitting. Ready for the test. Just got to rewire the thermostat wire as this one the wire was in the way. A lot of times you can just move the wire out of the way, but this one was a little shorter, so had to take it off and then just reset it after. No big deal. Ready for the test. Just got to put the uh, couple self-tapping screws back in place. Top cover. in the mix. Well, they won't all be this easy. As you often hear me say, they can't all be easy, but I'll settle for a few. Well, this was one of the few that was pretty easy. On this particular one, I didn't have to disconnect the wiring to the motor. I was able to pull the whole assembly out and prop it up, it loosen the set screw for the blower wheel, and then slide it over, tap it over a little bit. A lot of times it's not so simple. A lot of times you have to cut the wires and, and reconnect them uh, using wire nuts or uh, wire connectors or splicing the wires in whatever form and a different number of ways to get that done. Same thing when you need to replace the motor. Uh, a lot of times you need to replace the m blower wheel and the motor. Uh, sometimes it's better to replace them both at the same time. Sometimes you can get away with just replacing the blower wheel, but when you do it, there's a bit of a risk that if the the uh, problem was in the motor, then you've got to you know repeat the uh, the, the whole deal. But uh, sometimes you can kind of feel if there's a lot of play in the motor shaft or not, and uh, if there's a lot of play, then it, at that point you know it's a judgment call on doing them both or doing just the blower wheel. But a lot of times you can just replace the blower wheel. Uh, oftentimes it's a good idea to replace, test, or replace the capacitor test and or replace the capacitor. Uh, this particular one's a 5 microfarad. Some of them are a 7.5 microfarad. Uh, you know, a lot of different variations on the microfarads of the capacitors. You can use a capacitor of the same voltage or greater, uh, but you need to make sure to match the same microfarads. And anytime you replace a motor, you want to use the correct size capacitor using the correct voltage or greater voltage. 
but you always want to put a new capacitor with a new motor. So links to parts, products, and tools shown in the videos can be found in the links below. Hope to be bringing you better and better videos and uh, yeah, make a small commission on anything you order through there. So it helps me to uh, you know, help support what I do. Thanks for watching. Hope you gain some nice ground using the knowledge you gain from watching Kung Fu Me.